Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. So Coach Chris has been on a racket journey because what's wrong with your front staffs? Uh, I felt like that I needed a racket that could handle a little bit more pace, a bit more forgiving, and um, just getting out hit a lot um, when I was playing with the pro staff. So. Got it. All right. So let's see what happened, what we went through, and what he finally chose. Stay tuned. All right, so Coach Chris has been, I feel like, on this journey. I mean, you were kind of complaining about your racket before you left to uh, Tunisia and France already, mm -hmm. but you kind of stuck it out and played with it through um, those six to eight weeks. Um, but you tried some rackets out there, right? Yep. And you came back and you said, your first thing, your first words were, I want to try a head radical. Mm -hmm. And that's what we got you. What else did you want to try? I wanted to try um, an AeroPro. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try the new Extreme Rackets. Right. Um, I would like to also try one of the new Yonix ones too as well. Right. Uh, the Tor I think we played with. Right, exactly. So. Yeah. So first thing I did was I got him an MP um, Radical, and then I got him the Avocado Tour. I got him the Arrow, the new Arrow, Argyle, right? The 100, because the 98 wasn't available yet. Mm -hmm. So hang on to that. He wanted to try the V-Core Pro 97H. I said, dude, I don't know, that's too much racket. Like, it's, it's real heavy to come through. Um, and then I was like, hey, try this Fury 98, Arma Pro 98. I think you might like it. So that's what we went through. We also tried an E-Zone 98 Tour, which, um, which I thought he might like too. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's take out some of the rackets that you kind of immediately or, or after a short while didn't like and why. So I'll start with the heaviest one, the V-Core Pro. Uh, it felt really good to hit with though, um, but then after a while, it just got too heavy to swing with. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be really on and pump yeah. with some iron to be able to tote that thing around for two to three sets. Yeah, <laughs> but it feels great when you're hitting with it too as well. But it was, you, I mean, you would, you would uh, tendency for me, would I would shank a lot, a little bit more with this, with this racket, so, but. Yep, too much weight, too much drag. You got to be stand to hit with that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... Next one, it was very close in between, but I'd say the Extreme. Um, I even also played with the uh, MP Extreme too as well, just to feel any difference. Um, the Pro... I've, the Tour. The, sorry, the Tour, cut. it does cut through there really nicely, but it just felt like... Um, I didn't have quite enough uh, plow through with this racket. It mm. felt a little bit shorter and kind of coming from a pro staff, again, I was just trying to compare all the rackets to it and I just felt like this one didn't have a lot of spin, but it just didn't have that kind of yeah penetration. penetration yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, got Does it. Makes sense. So, yeah, a little lead maybe would have helped you. Yeah. Maybe would have helped you. Yeah. Okay. And then E-Zone Tour, which is not present right now. Yeah, the E-Zone Tour, again, was a great racket. I think uh, I actually played well with it, but I started to play a bit more flatter with that racket. Um, getting the shape of it, uh, getting a bit more spin, uh, I actually preferred right, the Radical or even the Aero Pro. Um, a bit more when I wanted to add a bit more to it. The I found the E zone a bit harder to do so. I'm picturing Kyrgios, I, I see that ball like you really need to have that fast acceleration swing. Um, but for the majority, it's it's kind of hitting it a little bit more flatter on the, on that. 
Yeah, the extra weight kind of pushes it through a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But the next one, I would say, it. I mean, uh, I've kind of just been playing with the Aero. New um, Aero Argyle the, the 100. New Aero Argyle 100. It's a nice rack. It's very powerful. That's for sure. Very powerful. So definitely have to really accelerate to, to control to get that spin in. If I don't, it's going to just fly out. Um, but I think it's too powerful and too light of a rack. If you yeah, know. definitely too light. I would definitely like to try the 98 when it comes out too. It's January. 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 Plugging you that a lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this one I would say would not yet, not yet, not this model. Yeah. Yeah. And then the Fury, I was, I was really, I really liked it. I really enjoyed playing with it. It, it reminds me of a more forgiving blade. Um, I do, de I definitely get that power too when I wanted to add a bit more spin to, because normally that's how I play a bit more with shape. This is this get this gave me a lot more of that, and um, also when I wanted to attack a bit more, this was also giving me some really nice feedback through that too. So it was either playing with the Fury or Head Radical. Yep. So I feel like um, this racket doesn't really need to be customized too much because there's definitely enough weight from the throat on. When you throw it through, it finishes it up for you. Mm -hmm. um, if you're going to add any weight, it's probably going to be to the handle, in my opinion. Um, yeah. Because it's got enough head weight already. That's why I like it. So, yeah. um, but in the, we tried also the Radical in the pro version too, and you didn't like the feel of that. Yeah, it just felt a bit, um, I don't dead. know, if dead. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. It, it didn't have the liveliness of, um, maybe it was an old racket I tried too, but it didn't have the same kind of um, liveliness as the MP. The MP, I felt like really um, training a lot too, right? Mind you, I'm, I'm training quite a bit every day, and between the Pro and, and the MP, I felt like the MP was a lot more versatile. Yeah, I think we felt that in the beginning when we tried this two years ago too. The Pro, um, the way the layup was of the whole racket, mm -hmm. I'm not, it's probably the extra graphite in, in certain places that um, the thickness of it deadened it yeah. a bit. Whereas this is a little more hollow, therefore giving it a little more feel and feedback. And I've been telling people for two years that I was like, if you like the MP, get the MP and weigh it up because that pro is not going to give you the same type of feel. Right. So and we're only talking a few um, grams here, literally. And it, it's not like it's a tighter string, string, um, stringing or anything like that. It is just a little heavier. Yep. So I was like, just put the weight where you want and you'll still get the, the feedback you like. Okay, so it kind of came down to these two for Coach Chris, and Coach Chris chose which one. All right, Radical for Coach Chris. So Coach Chris's racket journey ends today with a Radical MP. He did weigh it up a little bit at a, around that three and nine zone to give him a little bit more plow. Any lead in the handle, Coach? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. We'll put some a little bit later, but so, I will definitely. So tell me what you're getting with this racket right now. So I'm definitely getting the the spin that I want, um, but also the the penetration too as well. It's really effortless for me to utilize this racket. It's great on the serves too as well. Um, I just feel like in terms of my uh, way I play, uh, you know, with a lot of spin this one affords me the ability to do so while also when someone is hitting it uh, pretty hard at me I'm able to also defend quite well with this racket and keep the ball in play too so do you know what size head this is this is a 98 okay a lot of people assume this is a 100 but it is the only one that's um, a 98 that's not a pro staff except for some of the tour models People th think that this is a 100, but no, the Radicals are 98s, mm -hmm. okay? So, your journey is over, okay? Finally. I got some bad news for you, though, Coach. Oh, no. <laughs> you chose it right at the end of this particular model, uh, uh, and there will be a new version <laughs> oh, coming <great>. out. <laughs>
in the early part of the new year. Ah. Therefore, you may have to switch again. Yeah, probably I have to uh, just try them out when they come out again, when they make the new line. So. Well, here's the thing. The new one will have the aesthetic, okay. which is meant for feel. Okay. So if you like feel, which this one provides, the new one will enhance that. Good. So every racket that they put the aesthetic in mm -hmm. has felt a lot better. Okay. And people have liked it more. Hmm. So I think there's a lot of upside to um, maybe waiting a couple months when that one comes out. Yep. Uh, but you'll have to just settle for, you know, this one right now, knowing that, you know, new one's on the horizon. Yeah. I'm happy with that, actually, because I think now, if if any of them, hopefully they'll play just like the the new ones that'll come out. I yeah. kind of now understand a little bit more on what racket I'm I'm gonna play with, um, regardless. All yeah, right. So good. All right. So, Coach Chris, journey ends today. Let's see when his next journey begins. <laughs> All right. Coach Chris, thank you for bringing us along on your racket journey. Are you uh, are you active on Instagram right now? Yep. Playing some, some tunes? Nope. Just tennis. All right. Where can they find you? You can find me at CB Chan Tennis. And that's it. All right. Guys, thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, are you tired of playing against the ball machine? The ball machine always wins and you're not really getting any interaction with people. How about playing with somebody at your level or maybe a little bit better than you that can improve your game. There's 27,000 people nationwide waiting for you to play with. It's all at playyourcourt.com. You can find your new tennis friend, join local leagues, all for less than $5 a month. You'll have access to players at your level, your speed, and make some new tennis friends. Check it out at playyourcourt.com forward slash tennis spin. Link is below.